This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. It was not easy. I almost went without a birthday boy today, which will be very unusual. But then again, I decided to go with Phil Housley. He was born March 5th, 9th, part of 1964, so he's 57 years old today. He's actually the coach. He was the coach of the Buffalo Sabres from 2017 to 2019. Wow, forgot about that. I know he was drafted by the Sabres, so he's the assistant. He's assistant coach for the Arizona Coyotes. Playing as a defenseman, Housley was picked in the first round of the 1982 NHL Draft and had a long career with the Sabres, the Jets, well, the old Jets, the Blues, the Flames, the Devils, the Craps. Capitals, A.K. the Capitals, sorry, Blackhawks and Leafs. And he was inducted into the Hawk Bell of Fame in 2015. Wow, so he played for eight teams. Man. So, anyway. So, yeah, he was drafted in the 1982 NHL Draft. Sixth overall. Well, look at that. Two Kishner Rangers were drafted before Phil Housley. Wow. Fuck. Yeah, and yeah, this is the year that the Kitchener Rangers won the 1982 Memorial Cup. It just... So anyway, the first overall pick in 82 was Gord Klusak for the Bruins, a defenseman. Unfortunately, Klusak's knees would basically be his downfall. Brian Bellows, Kitchener, was drafted second overall right away to the Minnesota North Stars. He would not win a cup till he went to Montreal. I believe that was 93 for Screwland, was it? I don't know. Gary Nyland, a very promising defenseman the Leafs took from the Portland Winterhawks. Like, Nyland also was injury prone. N-Y-L-U-N-D, if you must know. Ron Sutter went to the Flyers. Like, they picked a Sutter for it. Flyers? Seriously? The Flyers? The Flyers? And then, worst of all, Scott Stevens fell to fifth to the Washington Capitals. Like, frick, if the Leafs wanted a defenseman, why the hell did they go with Nyland and not Scott Stevens? He was a superstar for the Buffalo Sabres. He was an American teenage superstar for the Sabres. Kind of like Tom Barrasso the next year. Housley did pretty well for himself, playing for the Buffalo Sabres. He would be a great Sabres defenseman until a trade in 1990 that sent him to Winnipeg for Dale Halverchuk. Like, the Jets trade their heart and soul, Dale Howardchuck, for Buffalo's heart and soul, which was Phil Housley. Kind of stupid, don't you think? Housley did fantastic. He had a 97-point season in 1993 with the Jets. Not bad. Didn't get the Jets far into the playoffs. Neither did he with the Sabres. Then he got traded to St. Louis in 94. He only played one year for the Blues before going to Calgary for a couple. And then he went to, and then he was traded in 96 to the Devils. And then he left for Washington in 97. After a few years from Washington, he went back to Calgary for three years. And then for two years, he was with Chicago. And then he played one freaking regular season game with the 2003 Maple Leafs in the regular season. And, and only three playoff games. So basically, that was a wash. And all that. So yeah, it's like, freak. However, Housley is the second leading scorer in America, with American-born players with over 1,200 points. 338 goals, 894 points. Assists, so he's 1232 points. He had the record for most points by an American-born player until Mike Modano surpassed it in 2007. Housley was the closest to a Stanley Cup in 98 when the Caps went to the finals against the Red Wings. At the time of retirement, Housley played more NHL games without winning the Stanley Cup than any other player in NHL history until Shane Doan retired in 2017. Wow, I didn't know that. Housley had the record... Uh, in 2000, he broke the record for most games by an American player. That was set by Craig Ludwig, a fellow defenseman. Helsley would have 1,495 NHL games, which was the most by an American until 2006 when Chris Chelios broke it. Phil Helsley was responsible for giving the United States the gold medal at the 2013 World Juniors. Basically, Helsley just sucked being a coach and all that. Two seasons, he had 58 wins, 84 losses, 22 ties. 
I mean, 22 overtime slash shootout losses for 138 points. And basically, they missed the playoffs both 2018 and 2019. Helsley is part of the American Hall of Fame, the U.S. Hall of Fame, Hockey Hall of Fame. I shall a rookie team in 1983, the second All-Star team in 92. He went into the All-Star game in 84, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, and 2000. Second runner-up for the Norris Trophy, or third place in 92, and in the Hall of Fame. He was part of that 96 World Cup of Hockey team that won the gold medal for Canada. As we said, Buffalo first round pick, and they was traded to Buffalo, right? Buffalo and Winnipeg for alongside Scott O'Neill, Jeff Parker, and the Buffalo's first round choice to Winnipeg for Dale Hodgek and their first round choice. It actually worked out. The first round choice has actually worked out. Buffalo picked up Winnipeg's first round choice, which they turned into Brad May. Obviously, he was a fighter with a heart of gold, and that overtime goal in 93 that sank the Bruins in the first round. But Buffalo's first round pick was traded away to Winnipeg, and they picked up Keith Kachuk. So basically, Winnipeg kind of won that pick. And then Winnipeg traded him September 93 to St. Louis for Nelson Emerson and Stefan Quintel. Emerson, okay, that's fine, but Quintel, like, and then he only lasted until the 4th of July, 94. Then he was traded by St. Louis alongside St. Louis' second round pick in 96 and second round pick in 97 to the Flames for Al McInnes, Buck, Kitchener Ranger, Buck, and Calgary's fourth round choice. St. Louis, um, Calgary picked two pretty bad players with their picks. And then Calgary traded him February 96 before the trade deadline to New Jersey for Tommy Abilene, Kale House, and Jocelyn Lemieux, Mario's cousin. Oh, wait, Jocelyn is his brother, isn't it? Jocelyn. I forget. Oh, Jocelyn is the is Claude Lemieux's brother. Okay, I he doesn't have a relationship to Mario Lemieux. He's Claude's brother. Okay, he was signed by the Caps as a free agent and then claimed on waivers by Calgary and then claimed by waivers again. And then the Black Ops traded him March 11, 2003 to the Leafs for Toronto's Ninth round pick and 2004's fourth round picks, which basically were nothing. Of course, that was the day that the Leafs got Doug Gilmore from Montreal, and Gilmore fucked everything up by getting hurt. Why me? That's the price you pay for being a Leaf fan. I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.